Hi guys, what's up? This is Claudio, motion designer from Brussels, Belgium. I came across a nice tutorial uh, some days ago about dripping uh, text uh, in After Effects. So I decided to do my own version, how you can uh, create a dripping effect on some shapes in After Effects without the use of any external plugin, just one single effect. So let's jump into After Effects and see how this is done. Okay, first of all, we create a new composition in After Effects. So we can uh, select the dimensions and frame rate that we like, uh, no problem for that. Hit OK, we have an empty composition. With that, we select the Rectangle tool and we trace a new rectangle. We hit Shift to make it square, if you like. And then we uh, rotate it a little bit like that. And we place it like that. Now we have our bucket and we can add a, an effect to make the dripping, the dripping effect. So the effect is named uh, CC Smear. So let's uh, get it from the effects and presets list. Let's drop it over the shape. And you see that there are four parameters that we can play with. So the first one is the from, and this is where we want our animation to start. So it's, we can place it more or less like that. Then we have the two, which is where we want our animation to end. In this case, and we'll drop it down here just below the composition. Then we have the radius, which is, yeah, we can start playing with 40 for this. And then we have the reach parameter, and this is the one we're going to animate. So at the first frame, we're going to set it to zero. So let's put it zero value, and then we hit the stopwatch. Then we move to about uh, two seconds and we put another val another keyframe with the value of 1000. You see that it's doing something. So let's get a smaller work area. So let's press N here so that we have a smaller work area where we loop our animation. You see that is a little bit too, too quick. Huh? So what we are going to do is to uh, play with the keyframe. So let's hit U to get our keyframe. Select both and hit F9 to make them easy ease. Then hit the graph editor button to open the graph editor. So let's zoom a little bit like that. And then we can play with our keyframes and with our curves. So put something with this form more or less. So that it starts slowly and then it goes down and then, yep, we have it. So I think that the two position is not really perpendicular, not on the same X. Yeah, 204, okay. And this is our dripping effect. Of course, you can play with the um, from and to and reach and radius. Uh, for instance, you have uh, you see what what's going on when if you put a wider radius, the uh, dripping effect needs yeah for the tuning, but yeah it gets a wider area, so we maybe want to keep it small. And this is what we can do. It's not a high fi high fidelity effect, but we can use it sometimes. It can be useful if you want to do something very quickly and very very with a pretty effective uh, result. So I hope you enjoyed the today's tutorial. Thank you to um, the channel where I got this uh, idea. I'm going to put the link below in the description, of course. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more tutorial like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. It's going to help me a lot. I have a lot of tutorials about After Effects and data visualization and animation also. So thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye.